The following contest is scheduled for one fall. It is for the WWE United States Championship. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. He's been undergoing a lot of training for tonight, not taking this title opportunity lightly. Here we go, guys. Of course, the title is on the line in this one, guys. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Many have written him off as champion, but he is determined to prove his doubters wrong. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 270 pounds, Goldberg! And introducing the champion from Vancouver, British Columbia, weighing in at 444 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, Earth. One of the most prestigious titles in all of sports entertainment here for the taking, the United States Championship. The WWE United States title is on the line, a title with so much history. Well, the winner almost becomes the defender of the red, white, and blue. Well, that is, unless they choose to use the title to insult Americans. Ah, somehow. Hey, it's the title holder's freedom to do so, Saxton. Oh, this is not good at all. The pendulum backbreaker stretch. Goldberg fights that off. Striking at will. Carefully placed stop to the arm. And able to counter. Ooh. Ooh. What a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Well, does Goldberg even need a strategy in this match? His brute force attacks seem to do the trick on their own. Well, I mean, I look like it, but Goldberg cover by the challenger. Squeeze that shoulder out so close. He just barely dodges. There they go. Moves outside. What's the plan here? One. Two. Swing neck 
backbreaker. Oh, foot just stomping down. Four. Oh, my goodness. What an impactful STO. The champ looking out of sorts. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes themselves to. Look at him totally vibing with the WWE Universe right now. Six! Seven. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He pulls line, knocked out. Here we go. Come back time. This superstar's on fire. Pace begins to quicken. Champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. Two. Now oh, he kicked out at two. I cannot believe it. He kicked out. He actually kicked out. Choke slam. Oh no. All the way up. Oh, oh, the spine buster crippling. Stop in the leg. Just caught what? Taken down. What is this superstar looking for? Legs are great by now. The arms are trapped. This won't end well. Oh, big stop. To retain the title. Oh, I thought the champ had it. And you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. for him in this match. Oh my God, Goldberg loses. It happened when he became 173 and one, and it happened again tonight. I can't believe it. Thank <laughs> you.
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the SmackDown Women's Championship. I honestly don't know how wise this is. Why, when you have the opportunity for surprise, would you tell your opponent that you're going to cash in your contract? I couldn't agree with you anymore, Michael Cole. Blow this opportunity tonight. You may never, ever get another chance at the title. Clearly for this young lady, that's the risk she is willing to take. She's willing to put her reputation on the line. Well, you pick your moment, and this looks like it's the moment for Miss Money in the Bank. Timing is everything, and it couldn't be any better than right now. The baddest woman on the planet is back. Ronda's ready to take names and break arms. The winner of the 2022 Women's Royal Rumble. I think there's a strong likelihood we're going to see broken limbs and faces courtesy of Ronda Rousey. Introducing the challenger from Pennsylvania, Brittany Baker. And introducing the champion from Venice Beach, California, the SmackDown Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda And there's something special in the air these days when the SmackDown Women's Championship is on the line. And the SmackDown Women's Championship fast becoming one of the most prestigious titles in all of WWE. Multiple historic WrestleMania main events will do that to a championship. Every woman in this industry wants to add their name to this title short but illustrious heritage. 
Rana had that scouted. Hip toss. Beautiful Sambo style. Stop after stop. Relentless. Just toss. She could airline mouse for that. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Getting rattled. Made her pay for her mistake. And responds with a counter of their own. Look at this. Samoan drop. Oh, let's see. He could be seeing a submission here. Is she going to tap, tap, tap? She's got it locked in. No, she doesn't. That was a great counter and so simple. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Ronda obviously has a lot of tricks up her sleeve, but what exactly do you think will be the key to her success here tonight? I know everyone's mind automatically goes to Ronda. Perched up top, diving leg drop! Ronda had that scouted. That breaker! So smooth. Well scouted reversal there. And this one might be headed ringside. Monkey flip! Two! Oh, a jumping arm breaker! Boom! Boom! Was ready for that. Oh, my wait! Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. Targeting the body. Superb awareness countering Rousey. Race lock. No, no! Champ. Systematic attack on that shoulder. Oh. Landing on top of the skull. Six. Oh yeah, she is really getting fired up. And surely she hears how high the referee's count has gotten at this point. Well, if she does, maybe she just doesn't care. Oh, not a Piper's pick with a championship on the line. One, two, oh, and a kick out. How in the world? How is that not three? Wheels are turning. Rousey getting ready for her next move. Rousey able to grab her opponent. Uh oh, the arm bar is locked in. Oh, no. This is the trying to somehow maneuver their body out of this submission. Drop it, bombs, and they're free. The champ shoulders are down. She kicks out with force. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Superb technique from Rousey. She wants to put an end to things here. Ooh, look at her answering back. Rousey needs suplex. Wrist flex, suplex, perfect. Back and forth from these competitors. Race. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. The champion into the cover. One, two, three. And the champ retains. Here is your winner, and still the SmackDown Women's Champion, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda. seeing her get the win. And it was a big match for her. They are riding high on this win. This celebration might carry on the rest of the month.
The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. It's Mr. Money in the Bank. Ladies and gentlemen, as a reminder, the championship is on the line here tonight. And in looking at the opposition, I can say that the champion will have quite the hill to climb in this one. The challenger with a confident look on his face, more than ready for this title opportunity. Superstar. The referee trying to get things in order and finally getting this match underway. Good luck. They're definitely not thinking about the match right now. If Karrion Cross wants to come away with a win, he needs to take a methodical approach. Focus on taking his opponent apart one piece at a time. If he rushes things, he risks making a mistake that leaves him vulnerable. I'm inclined to agree, Corey. Cross can be almost unstoppable when he has that single-minded intensity in the ring and doesn't let anything distract him from the destruction of his opponent. Ooh, right to the throat. A counter answered by another counter. That catches Cross looking. Check your face after that one. Mitsunoku <laughs> driver, wow! The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Solid punch. Oh, the reversal by Shinsuke Nakamura. The Intercontinental Championship held by over a dozen WWE Hall of Famers. The likes of Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, Bret Hart. Well, that title symbolizes the workhorse of WWE. Well, certainly has a history of being the largest stepping stone any individual can climb. Known to put superstars on the map. All facts that these men know very well. Oh, oh, oh. oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? A back suplex right out of the apron. Oh, man. To the arm. Hyper extends your elbow. Shinsuke Nakamura needs to figure out a solution. And Karrion Cross has that single minded focus on the destruction of his opponent. A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Four. Yeah. Yeah. Shinsuke might be able to start mounting something here. Could be what he needed to ignite a rally. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Ah. 
Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target, and Cross has earned the upper hand here. Yeah, Cross is giving no quarter. Side slam! Nice. Brutal series of kicks. Still going. Good grief. Good night for the title. And this was just so close to being over. If the count had been even a millisecond faster, things would be over. Here it comes, Corey. Here we go. Kinshasa! But champions need to finish the job. Two. A kick out by the challenger, keeping the championship dream alive. And look at the disbelief on the face of the champion. They both know what's at stake. Neither competitor is going to lose easy here. And you have to wonder if Nakamura can pull off one more big hit to finally get the win. Nakamura gets the counter. Oh, look at the knee strikes. Oh, burying knees into the body. Put the counter. Look at this. This is gonna hurt. Oh, with the Doomsday Saito. Quickly into the cover with the title on the line. New champion, new champion. Oh my God, that was so close. Incredible, absolutely incredible. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for the submission. The King of Strong Style close to tapping. Nakamura now looking so tough now. He may lose this thing. Escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Oh, shot right to the kidney. And again. Very weird to bring down your opponent. Cross fends that off. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. First up top. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. Play a strike with the suplex. The champ not in a great place. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Yeah. Like Amora is so elusive. And he keeps his focus on an attack to that area. He's gonna find a way to get out of this. He decides. Jeez. must be writhing in pain right now. The breaking point must be on the horizon. But yet they continue forward, showing no desire to quit. Slam! Setting up might just have what it takes to keep Nakamura down. Draining that trapezius muscle. Cover by the champ. One, two. Kicking out in time. How in the world did he kick out? He delivers the knee drop. Nakamura looking to finish this off. Nakamura. This is gonna hurt. Off with the doomsday Saito. Now a pin for the championship. Are you kidding me? How have we not claimed a winner yet? You gotta believe that not wanting to feel the agony of defeat is causing this never surrender attitude. The cross jacket is locked in. It is cinched in deep. Will that way. New champion, the era of... Here is your winner, and the new... Dante
Universal Champion, Karrion Cross. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. To go from challenger to champion. That has to feel good. Unless you're the one going from champion to nothing.